So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relevel for sponsoring this entire video. A hiring platform with no degree required, no experience required. Mentoring sessions available, feels like a dream, isn't it? What if I say, all of this is for free? Well, Relevel by Unacademy is here to make your dream come true. With job opportunities in front-end, back-end and business development from India's top companies for freshers and people in the early career, Relevel is here to make the entire hiring process super simple and super quick. All you have to do is to give the Relevel test and based on your score, interviews will be scheduled and you will be hired. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you check out all the links in the description and apply for the Relevel test as soon as possible. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we are going to discuss about the bottom view of any given binary tree. So let's assume this is the binary tree that is given to you. So bottom view as the name suggests, you have to look from the bottom and imagine this tree in a 1D, like in a 1D paper. So what, what nodes will you see from the bottom? The first node that you'll see like from the left to right, that will be 4, right? From here, I think you'll just see 8 because 8 will be hiding 2. So you'll see 8 and if you look out from here, the node that you'll see are 2 nodes. Basically, uh, from 2 there is a node 5 and from 3 there is a node 6. So there are 2 nodes and if that is the case, always make sure you take the right guy. Like whichever guy is on the right, that's 6 is what you're going to take. Okay, so that's why I've drawn it on green color. You're going to take the 6 node. Instead of 5, just make sure you take 6. If you look out over here, so that's the node 9 which is covering 3. So there's node 9 and if you look out over here, that's the node 7. So the bottom view, like the bottom view is going to be this 4, 8, 6, 9, 7. So in order to solve this problem, we are definitely going to use uh, the concept that we learned in the vertical order traversal, right? That is the line concept. If you remember, we learned a line concept. We're gonna, we are going to use that. So we'll be using the level order traversal. So the concept that we did learn in the vertical order traversal was to draw parallel lines. So like on imaginary, I can say this is one line and assume this is line zero. And the moment you move to left level, what you'll do is you'll try to have it on a line minus one. Like if you move to the left and if you're moving to again left, please make sure you have a line minus two. And similarly, if you're moving right, just make sure you have a line uh, of plus one. And if you're again moving right, just make sure you have another plus one. So what I can say is on every line, like on every horizontal line or vertical, whatever you call it, on every this line, the last node. So the last node is four. On this line, what is the last node? That's eight. On this line, there are multiple last nodes, five and six. So you'll always take the one that comes uh, like from the right, that's six. And on this line, you have a nine. And on this line, you have a 7. So what I can say is, I can actually do a vertical order traversal. And I can figure out the last node on every vertical order. And that last node will be my bottom view. In indeed, right? So let's try this out. So what we will do is, we will initially take a Q data structure. okay? And in this Q data structure, we are going to store the root of the tree. And initially, we will have the line like because this line will be zero so i'm going to store zero and at the same time we are going to make sure that we take a map data structure okay and in this map data structure we'll be storing uh, the line and the node this is what we are going to store okay so please make sure you take a uh, map data structure so that it can uh, store sorted lines so basically uh, the minus two then minus one then zero then uh, so on so initially you start off with the node one okay so when you have the node one and you have the line zero please make sure in line zero insert a node one that's what you'll do on line zero key you will insert a one okay so that's what you've done so once you've done this on node one what is the left left is two so you'll insert that into the queue and can i say if i'm moving left the vertical will be minus one so 0 minus 1 will be minus 1. So you put that on the left and you have on the right, that's 3. So can I say the vertical will be plus 1 on the right. So I'll make sure I'll put that into the queue data structure. Once I've done this, I can say for node 1, it is over. So that's over for node 1, right? So in the next iteration, I'll get node 2. 
So the moment you get node 2, the line is minus 1. So please make sure on minus 1, you have the node 2. Perfect. Right after that, for 2, check the left. Left is 4. So do a minus 1. So you have a minus 1 over here, right? The node had a minus 1. So you do a minus 1, you'll get the line as minus 2. Perfect. And on the node, on the right, you have a 5. So you insert 5 and it was minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 will become 0. So I'll I'll make sure I'll insert 5 comma 0. So I can say this is done. So node 2 is done. So let's take the next node. Next node is 3 comma plus 1. So 3 comma plus 1. I have a node 3 plus 1. So on line 1, I have a node 3. That's the last node. So of 3, on 3, the left is 6. On 3, the left is 6. And if it is 1 and you're going to the left, so 1 minus 1 will be 0. And on 3 is right, you have a 7. So if you're going to write 1 plus 1, that's going to be 2. Perfect. So 3 is done. Next, you get 4 comma minus 2. 4 comma minus 2. So if you're standing at 4 and you have a line as minus 2, so you can say minus 2 got you a 4. Perfect. Does 4 have a left? No. Does 4 have a right? No. So 4 is done. Next, you get a 5 comma 0. You get a 5 and you get a 0. So the line 0 will be replaced with 5. So you understand, na? You're doing a level order. So first this guy came, then this guy came, then on this you got a 5. So 5 replaced this one, right? So you replaced it on your map data structure. On 5, the left is 8. So 8 comma on left means minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And on the right, we have a 9. So 9 comma plus 1. So please make sure you put that into the queue. So 5 is also done now. Let's take out the next. That is 6 comma 0. So you have a 6 and you have a 0 at the same time. So what you can say is the 0 guy will be overwritten by 6. Again, makes sense. As I said, you will take the rightmost on the level order traversal. That is 6. So you take up 6. You replace it. Does 6 have a left? No. Green color, green color. Does 6 have a left? No. Green color. Does 6 have a right? No. So 6 is also done. Next, you get 7. 7 is at line 2. So line 2 will get someone as 7. Perfect. Does 7 have a left? No. Does 7 have a right? No. 7 is also done. Next, you get 8 comma minus 1. So minus 1 gets replaced by 8. 8 comma minus 1. Does 8 have a left? No. Does 8 have a right? No. That's done. Next, you have a 9 plus 1. So plus 1 gets a 9. 9 does it have a left? No. 9 does it have a right? No. So 9 is also done. So at the end, you can see the queue becomes empty. So if the queue becomes empty, right after that, since you took a map data structure, it will always store which key at first. Like if I ask which key is that it's stored as first, the minus 2 key will be stored at first in your map data structure. You know, map stores in sorted keys, right? So minus 2 comma 4. So you got the first uh, first view as 4. Next will be minus 1. So minus 1 has stored 8. So you'll get 8. Next, you will definitely get 0. So 0 is storing your 6. So you got 6. Next, you'll get uh, 1. By the way, 1 was 3 and that will be replaced by 9. So 1 will be uh, 9 for you. So 1 will be 9. Then you'll get 2. That's 7. So this is how you get the bottom view of binary tree. Just iterate on the map. So it's a very simple thing. Make sure that whatever line you're getting, just replace by node in your map data structure. That's what you have to do in order to get the bottom view of binary tree. So this is how you do it using a level order traversal. So as usual, the C++ code is on the left and the Java code is on the right. So I have a bottom view, right? I have a bottom view. So it's given as root. So what I'll do is I'll take the uh, vector as answer, which is going to store the bottom view. And if the root is null, like if the tree is empty, I'm going to return answer. Right after that, I have a map data structure. I have a queue which stores a node and an uh, integer like pair. Over here, I have I've made sure like over here in Java, I haven't stored it because the root dot HD. Basically, what I've done is uh, in the binary tree in the node, I have inserted a variable int HD equal to zero like i've inserted a variable in the class itself you could have done this in uh, your tree this also but again on your like if you're implementing java you can either have a node 
uh, HD insert in that node or you can create a pair class also that's your wish again implementation I'll leave it to you so what I'll do is I'll have the level order traversal till queue is not empty I'll take the node and I'll just make sure I'll have the line and I'll on that line I'll make sure I'll insert the node done right after that get the left if there is and insert line minus one and if there is a right insert line plus one keep on doing this and on doing this level order traversal at the end just iterate on the map and take the second take the second means take the value take the value right once you get the value you can return your answer which is ultimately going to be your bottom view so this was level order traversal the iterative or iterative version of traversal now if i ask you will a recursive traversal work you might think yes driver we'll just do left comma line minus one and we will just do right comma line plus one and that will work but no the recursive traversal is not going to work with this simple logic you have to induce some other logic why you might ask the answer to this is very very simple now just imagine if you have a tree something like this so if you have this tree and you're doing a in order traversal you go to this route and you will assign this onto your map right after that you'll assign this to your map on whatever line you are having Right after that, you'll assign this to your map. Right after that, you'll assign this to your map. Right after that, you'll assign this to your map. Right. So on line zero, on line zero, this is line zero, right? This is line zero on recursive traversal. This is line zero. On line zero, you would have assigned this node. What will happen is, since you're doing in order, after that you'll visit this, and after that you'll visit this. So at the end, you are going to visit this node in your recursive traversal. Hence, the line zero on your map we'll have this node yes we'll have this node instead of having this node so you have to induce extra logic if you're using a recursive traversal that's why it's better if you implement the level order traversal because it's very simple and you do not have to keep a track of height or else you have to keep a track of height also along with line if you're inducing a recursive solution please make sure you keep a track of height the guy whoever is at the bottom most Position is what you will always take, right? So please make sure you follow level order traversal. And the time complexity for level order traversal will be B go of n. The space complexity will again be B go of n. And this depends on the num like, structure of tree. That's what the time complexity and space complexity will be. So I hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.